Blessings, Taurus, fellow travelers. You are so amazing, and it is so good to have you here on Venusian Empress Oracle with Priestess Melissa. Blessings for your snow full moon. We're going to be looking at the energies around all of that and seeing what is going on at this time. I really feel like, you know, the energies are more or less pointing towards things that are coming to a head for us in our particular lives. Um, and we're seeing with the Wisdom of the Hidden Realm Oracle cards what that area may be. And then we'll see if it's in the reverse or upright as a challenge or an ally. We'll then get into the Moonology cards, which is going to let us know what has been going on perhaps around this full moon, what's coming up for you, what is a solution to a problem you may be having, advice, as well as the future outcome. And then we'll clarify all of that with the Holographic Tarot. Cutting the card, we have a Six of Cups energy with a Six of Wands energy. Whoa, that is beautiful to see. But you're only halfway there. These are sixes. We're still in the minor. So I think you may be having a lot of success in love, though. Maybe could be dealing with a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, Taurus. King of Cups energy coming forth there. A lot of love on the table, for sure. I'm seeing a lot of love in these readings so far. Ooh, but what are you confused about? Hmm. Do you feel like... Whoa. <laughs> Somebody's at their breaking point. Oh my goodness. What is going on here? Whew. Well, we are going to definitely check that out. Bear in mind, these are general readings. They may or may not resonate with you totally. But if any part does, thank you so much for hitting the like button so that others can see this reading as well. And so it may help them here to make the decisions they need to. Also, guys, do check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for those readings to get a complete overall understanding of what may be going on for you at this time. And then do reach out to me at VenusianWays.org if you'd like to know exactly what may be going on for you. Divine Doors message cards is going to give us some advice on moving forward through these portals today. And Lover's Oracle is also going to give us love advice, all right, for the week ahead. Don't forget now, at the very end, we will answer that burning question you may have. So do get it ready. Come on, let's see what's going on for Taurus, shall we? The amazing Taurus, show us what we need to know, dear angels, ancestors, way showers, and guides. We honor you. Thank you. Shout out Taurus, and thank you so very much for all of your likes, subscribes, shares, donations, hitting the bell, and definitely let me know how these readings are resonating with you down in the comment section below. I'd love to interact with you guys. You're so amazing. Let's see what is going on for the beautiful Taurus. We have Cosmos in Reverse, which is Creativity and vastness so you may not be feeling like you are full of ideas perhaps at this time or able to tap into them could be having a little bit of a writer's block energy you know one of the best ways to get out of this energy is just do a brainstorm all right just make yourself sit there and think of anywhere any number you can imagine you can but you want to make it a higher number like 50 so think of 50 ideas you know something like that and of course it's going to stretch you but that's for that vastness you know it's like maybe something may seem crazy but interestingly enough the best idea would may come forth right after that if you will right so it's tapping into that 41 coming to a five the resting tree patience and stillness 22 so you definitely may be feeling at this time that you've been patient, you've been perhaps in that standing uh, tree pose, if you will, waiting the web weaver. And this is synchronicity, divine intelligence, cause and effect with four energy. So this is definitely talking about if we're going to expand, you know, in our world and make things more than what they've been perhaps in the past we're going to have to expand out we're going to have to reach out you know and this could be networking as well as 
you know, just tapping in again to the vastness of the universe and being able to get our answers and what we need from that field, if you will, creativity, calling on the divine mind to give us the answers that we need, you know what I mean? So 41 coming out in the reverse position, and guess what? There is no reverse position, because that's how it is. So you get the cosmos. <laughs> I love it, Taurus. Wild card. The cosmos appears always as an ally and never as a challenger. I love it. Beautiful. Creativity. And definitely hit the like button if you're like, uh, thank you to the universe because I know you've always got my back. Creativity in all forms is represented by the cosmos. This is a sign to place your attention on creative projects. They will be successful. Remember that all of life is creative and you have always you are always co-creating with the divine just through your thoughts all right through your emotions you're connecting the cosmos also represents the principle of infinity and the vastness of the energetic exchange of consciousness influencing all living things wow so i mean we're having an effect on it it's having an effect on us right this teaches us that every intention we set is in fact contagious with the power to influence others. We are entangled at our deepest energetic place, so we can't help but have an effect on others. So that's that cause and effect aspect, right? From an individual level to a global one, how fitting is that, right? And especially when we're talking about the web weaver here, how important is that that we be tapped in so that we can really connect with those people that we want to out there in the world, right? But by first tapping into the universal energy. All right, so this card also says, this is a sign to remind you to open up to the well of creativity deep within you and the mindful and be mindful of what of your thoughts and actions both are influencing your outer world so your thoughts and your actions very important most important keep taking action towards your goals as the cosmos responds perfectly to manifest your highest destiny expect to be inspired and to meaningfully touch others with all that you create well, Spirit is telling you, if you've got something you've been wanting to put out there, Taurus, this is the time to do it. Put yourself out there. Connect with other people, all right? It's not the time for you to play small anymore. You've got a lot of good stuff, it sounds like, to share. <laughs> so it's time to get out of this wretched, resting bitch mode, perhaps. Retching. <laughs> Why did I say that? Anyway, but to, you know, get you know, like motivated again towards life. And it's like, Taurus, that's not your energy. You know, you're grounded and you're all about charging, taking charge, moving forward. So if you're in this energy, definitely spirit saying tap back in, you know. It's time to get out of this place of laziness, perhaps, procrastination. I think procrastination marks this. Uh, with this energy of your creativity and actually putting something out there, you know, it's like stop holding yourself back, you know, is what I really hear Spirit saying. It's all on you. So what could you be dealing with potentially at this time around this snow full moon? And it is your energy. Your dreams need a practical plan, definitely. You know, how are we going to put everything into place? Um, first, we're going to take the first action because first we get the thought right then we take the action that said the thoughts and the actions are going to be most important right now so we got to get the plan in place start to take the steps towards your plan even if you don't have it all together and keep calling on the universe to give you the next step right so what is a possible solution to a problem you could be having at this time what do you need to release? So what are you holding on to? 
what kind of thoughts are what's causing the inaction 1001 I saw it's like look in the mirror and really take a hard look at what you know is holding you back potentially the past is what this is saying on the bottom south node energy I would take a look at where your south node placement is and watch that reading as well if I were you um, so you're gonna have to check your astrological chart for that and then also I'd love to know who is a rabbit the year of the rabbit who is a rabbit <laughs> what year were you born the end of a tough cycle approaches advice from the universe is coming out today so if you just stick to the plan get a plan in place start moving forward on it if something doesn't fit in the plan release it let it go all right but you are coming to the end of this tough cycle and have faith in your dreams beautiful most important all right don't give up just figure out the way to make it happen that's what i hear spirit saying you gotta trust the universe confidence is your key to success future outcome i love it leo energy north node now coming out that's amazing to see for you taurus all right so it's having the heart to keep on going forward and surrender to the divine yes admit that you need to know the next steps forward and then take the action once you have been inspired this is going to give you that new lease on life and help you to feel invigorated once again right what is coming out here seven of pentacles energy so definitely you could have uh, invested in something your heart or maybe feeling like your heart is invested in something at this time and someone that you could be waiting to come back perhaps maybe you're trying to be creative about how you could cause this to happen or maybe somebody's thinking this about you Taurus Ooh, we have a king of wands energy here as well interesting do we have two people Trying to come back or buy for your attention at this time, perhaps. Ah, so your dreams need a practical plan. I feel like people are perhaps trying to come in and get you off your path. Toxic people, perhaps. Be aware of that, all right? Anything toxic that could be distracting you, perhaps, from your path. Your dreams need a practical plan. We have the star in reverse so needing to heal after an ending either somebody died or you know a relationship ended something of that nature or you're just mourning the loss of something in general that was you know very important to you definitely could have been you know a partnership with that three of pentacles energy but definitely something that uh, didn't pay off the way you expected it to in the love department is what it looks like 1313 on the timer I mean yeah definitely you could have um, it could be either yeah this is talking about what you need to release Hierophant and two of cups in reverse so it's definitely about learning I feel from something that didn't work out um, taking that blindfold off you know because it's like this energy is the blindfold is not on inwardly like you know and it's like still maybe hoping or wishing things could be different the end of a tough cycle approaches because if you're too narrow minded too narrow thinking about something you know but i see you focused right now i see you focused more on work than love maybe turning down offers um, or this offer from this person you know getting on your path getting back into the flow of things for you really making things happen in your life and feeling like you're having some accomplishment from everything that you're putting in you're definitely putting an end to anybody that's uh, talking shit you know especially if it's about your work because it looks like it's going to turn out very well from what i'm seeing eight of pentacles to queen of pentacles is not too bad confidence is your key to success oh definitely don't even worry about all that those people that stabbed you in the back wait till they see what spirit has for you 
those blessings that are coming through by you staying on the path, you following what you know is for you. Oh, Lord, where are your cards going? I love it when these cards fly down in the box. Oh, yes. King of Cups energy. Interesting. So, we keep seeing him. So, I wonder if you have a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces energy. Anything, though, I see this as you. <laughs> Poker face is what I got with that King of uh, Hearts with the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you know, you're, you're holding back. I feel like this is more of a stoic energy that as you start to do better and better, you're really going to see this situation for what it was. I don't feel like this person really was who you thought that they were. And uh, as you grow, especially in this process, and you do become successful, I think you're going to be happier that things didn't really work out. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't know, it's like that blessing in disguise, but all of that could have been blocking you to begin with in a sense, or, or having you feeling like you were blocked, but with that cosmos energy and with it saying that it's always an ally, Spirit's always working on your behalf. You stay in the right energy and Spirit's gonna make sure that everything, the universe is gonna make sure everything works out accordingly. Divine Guardian coming out here today. Definitely I see you you know, going within, taking that time that you need to, to get it figured out, to talk to spirit, talk to God, right? Figure out, tap into your creativity and figure out the next steps forward. Do not be nervous today or tonight. The path you are on will lead you just right. Trust in yourself, all right? You are on the right path for sure. And there's more orange energy here. I believe that says passages. Silent skill. Interesting. All right. What other card wants to come out today for this? We have deeper. Okay. So you still have further to go with this. But once you really tap in, you are going to be amazed at all the floodgates are literally like your dreams are finally going to come true for you you are not finished you're not yet done dig deeper and deeper the best is yet to come hold on hold on don't give up guys that is exactly what this is saying go within keep tapping in figure out what that code is for you, for your success in this situation, in your project, whatever that may be for you, Taurus, all right? Don't allow yourself to get distracted um, by any love situations is what I'm seeing right now because, you know, these people are naturally going to try to come back once they see you doing better, once they see your focus is on something else, you know, even if it's not another person. But they're going to sense, they're going to know that you're upgrading, you know what I mean? So, love for Taurus, please. So this card says, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on another, now is the time to give to yourself. And that's exactly what we were seeing with this energy, as well as this energy. Time to pull back, time to go deeper within yourself and really figure out yourself at this time. A message for you. I am thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So somebody's definitely thinking about you at this time while you're taking this step back, but it really is necessary for you so you can figure things out in your life. Beware of what you are projecting, for the qualities you admire in one another are also qualities that you possess, and equally so, the qualities you don't like are also your reflection. So be aware of that, all right? And we really don't want to get caught up in that energy of comparison, you know, just mental struggle, power struggles, all of that. Who has time for that? You know, we're trying to network, we're trying to really make things happen in our lives, and this just confuses us when we get caught up in these energies where it's like we're just burnt out, right? Life feels like a burnout sometimes, perhaps, but don't give up, Spirit is saying, don't forget. 
got a lot more coming, so don't give in. All right, guys, you ready to answer your question, Taurus? I'm ready to do it for you in three, two, one. And here is your answer, my dear. It is a yes. Oh, yeah, baby. Love it, Taurus. Well, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and bell notifications. Stay amazing, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.